The first step of any cold email campaign is to build a lead list of people you will be emailing. For this, you will usually need their email, name and company so that you can contact them, know who they are and know what they do. To do that, you will commonly use databases like Apollo or LinkedIn Sales Navigator. But the actual list building process itself is still often a time-consuming manual process and the emails you get from them are often invalid, like 20-30% of them. In this video, I will show you how you can build an email lead list that is already verified in 10 minutes with find email. So let's get started. Before we begin, you may be wondering why is that a problem? Well, first of all, you're paying for data that you cannot use, which in itself is a problem unless you like throwing money around. The big thing is if you keep sending emails to addresses that do not exist, this is spammy behavior and your email account will get flagged spam. So that means all your email for the next campaign will start landing in spam and you won't notice until it's too late. So we definitely don't want that. that that's where find email comes in and the way we do it differently is that we verify all the emails in real time so that we can guarantee less than 5% of the emails will be invalid and we keep your email account actually safe. So let me show you. So the first thing you want to do here is to create a find email account if that's not already done. So just go to app dot findemail.com slash register and create your account. I will keep over this step since I obviously already have an account there, but this is the first step. Then what you need to do is to install the Chrome extension. So there is a link uh, inside the app and you can also search for it within the Chrome store. Just type findemail and you will land on this uh, web page. And all you need to do is click to add to Chrome. So I'll do it here. Add extension. Findemail has been added. You go and add it again here. And if you are connected to your find email account it should auto connect so you can just click login and it will automatically log you in with the right account um, so this is the onboarding if you need more info but we can skip it here and it's ready to use so now all you need to do is go to either sales navigator or Apollo search results for example and you will be able to export with emails so let me give you an example here on Sales Navigator. So I go on the Sales Navigator. I already put some uh, search filter here, basic sales manager, the US. Um, so let me refresh now that I have installed find email. And what it will do is you will notice this uh, new button that gets added now that you have find email, which is the export to CSV button. And all you have to do here is to click on it export to CSV and you will be able to export the entire sales navigator search results enriched with B2B emails with one click. So one thing to note is that you can see here that I have 14k results in that search but Sales Navigator only let us access the first 100 pages of the search results. That means that Find Email can only export up to 2,500 results add-ons. If you have a larger search like here and you want to export it completely, then what you need to do is first add some additional filters in the Sales Navigator filters there to reduce your search results below 2,500 results so that you can export it completely and then you, you change those filters to get your overall search results. So let me show you how it exports there. It will automatically flip the page. So let's start with like 30 results and you just click export the CSV. And thing is, we will automatically try to find a valid email for all those people in real time during the export and also verifying that data so that you only get valid data right away. Another good thing is with find email is that it also cleans the LinkedIn data that can be sometimes dirty. For example, we've all seen like emojis in first name or last names on some profiles or things like this, the LLC in company names, that type of stuff. It automatically gets cleaned up by find email so that at the end of the export, you will have a clean CSV file that you can use right away in your outreach. Like you don't need to manually review it. So as you can notice here, I'm speaking to you and it just does the work in the background. You can work on something else and your entire list building process is done automatically without any manual intervention. So that's what the magic of find email is. Now it's almost done for my export. Now it's done. You can see here that it downloaded a CSV file. And if I open it, you can see here that I have all those data points. So LinkedIn URLs, full name, first name, last name, email, 
email that has been verified so uh, i know for sure that i can send to those emails right away and they will not bounce they will not get me into the spam folder so that's really important uh the job title uh the company cleaned up company size, company domain, the industry, all the data points that you may need to personalize your outreach, the region, the, the company description, whatever. You have everything in there and you can use that right away. So that's how simple it is to export with find email. And the good thing is I'm only using a credit whenever I'm actually finding a valid email. If uh, for some reason find email doesn't find an email on a given profile, then it's free for me. So that's something really good about find email as well. The next step after this is that you can literally just upload that CSV file right away into whatever tells tool you use to send your email campaign or in your CRM directly. And it's all clean and can be used right away so yeah just upload the csv you can also actually use one of our many integrations native integrations with many of the popular software out there and you can push all your contacts in one click so maybe the topic of another video but that's how simple it is so that's everything i have for this video if you want to make sure that your emails are 100 percent valid try find email by clicking the first link in the description and if you already have existing emails and you want to learn how to validate them step by step, check out our last video by clicking the link on the screen or the second link in the description. Finally, if you want to see more content related to B2B prospecting, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss another video and I'll see you there.